Reese's, now stuffed with pretzels. From the station that's on your side, News 12, first at four continues. It's the first day of school for Richmond and Columbia counties. Thousands of kids in our area are starting another school year during the ongoing COVID pandemic. Columbia County students are heading back to the classroom today. There are only 350 kids staying virtual, so classrooms will be full. Like any other school system right now, having a COVID plan is a must, and making sure there are enough teachers to teach is a big concern. Our Celeste Springer is live outside Evans High School. Celeste, COVID is on everyone's mind, but how does the district plan to handle staffing changes? Well, let's face it, keeping up school staffed is no easy feat. In fact, if you're a teacher, you're probably familiar with this statistic. My, all the teachers in my family are. That's that 50% of teachers will leave the profession within the first five years. That's according to the American Education Association. Well, according to our I-team, 136 teachers resigned last school year. But the school district says, and, and that's in Columbia County, the school district says they were still ready today for the first day of school. They say they're fully staffed of bus drivers, which other districts have had difficulty staffing in the past. For subs, they're doing, quote, very well, though they admit they're always looking. And as for their teachers, though, they have 21 certified vacancies to fill. They say they have enough to get by just fine. Yeah, overall, we've been um, fully staffed as far as teachers in the classroom. Uh, we do have uh, some open positions, but that hasn't affected uh, the teachers that are with the students in the classroom. We, um, as you know, uh, increased a couple of positions this year. So what we weren't able to hire at this point in the year, we'll be doing a little bit later. And coming up, coming up at 5 o'clock, I'm working on a story getting you information on how your school is going to be tracking cases and also when you might get one of those dreaded COVID-19 tracing letters. Thanks so much, Celeste, for that big update. A lot of parents do want to know that information. As for Richmond County, they're being required to wear masks in school buildings and on buses. Their goal is to keep communication going about how many COVID cases are being reported and with what the Department of Public Health advises them. They do not feel like staffing will be an issue and have plenty of teachers. The county feels optimistic that they can remain in person for this school year. All right, to weather now.